A common marketing method is doing free webinars. And you may have experienced this as a consumer uh, when you've seen the announcements about free trainings and you show up to that free training on a webinar and it turns out to be, you know, a third of it is a, is a sales pitch for their service or their program. So as an attendee of such free webinars, you know that it's not the most pleasant experience because it's a bit of a bait and switch, okay? They told you it's a free training, but they didn't tell you how much of it was gonna be selling something more, okay? Um, for the business owner, actually, the person doing it, I don't think it's the smartest business strategy anyway. Let me give you an alternative method, okay? So instead of a free webinar, do a paid webinar. <laughs> A low price paid webinar, something between, let's say, $10 at the low end to $50 on the high end. A paid webinar on a topic that you really believe in, that you really believe is going to be beneficial for your audience, and that they are buying it because they believe it's beneficial for them. Now, how do you know? Uh, now, the, the, the difference between a paid webinar and a free webinar is that, is that a, a paid webinar is where you're really delivering value rather than trying to sell them on, on working with you. Now, even in a paid webinar, you can spend maybe 5 to 10% of that webinar time talking about your service to say, hey, if you, thanks for you know, joining this webinar. I, I hope you benefit from it. And if you want to go deeper on this topic, you can work with me one-to-one -one, or you can join my coaching program or you can buy this uh, additional webinar to learn more and because they've already paid for it they've already qualified themselves the people who show up are of course more qualified and likely to say yes to paying more for additional services or additional training you see so the the expectation is going to be more aligned between them and you so there's less, there's no feeling of bait and switch, uh, you know. So so that's that's why it's so much more helpful. Um, but one of the key ideas here to make this work is to know what topic to do a paid webinar on, and this is where doing additional free content on a consistent basis is so helpful. This is why I talk about the importance of free content, doing that all the time. And my dog just was running around here I'll show I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you him later if you can get into the view um, so the the paid webinar comes out of your free content that you do on a on a consistent basis because in your free content you get to test what topics your audience find the most interesting you you get to see what they like the most what they comment on the most what they tend to share and then based on what they're interested in you can then create a paid, a low-cost paid webinar on that, okay? And like I said, during the, the paid webinar, you can spend maybe five to 10% of the time. So if, let's say it was a one-hour paid webinar, it's totally fine to spend about five to 10 minutes saying, hey, if you wanna go deeper, here are my services or here are my products or, or, or programs or uh, additional trainings. Versus typically what people do on a free webinar is they spend 25 to 33 percent on a 60-minute webinar They'll spend something like 20 to 30 minutes or 15 to 30 minutes selling you on their thing Right, which is unpleasant for both the seller because they know it's bait-and-switch and for the attendee because that was not expected So anyway long story short, I'll I'll have more notes uh, more thoughts in the notes of the video but let's stop doing free webinars and instead switch to consistent free content to test what topics people like and then the topics they like the most let's do a low-cost paid webinar and at the very end spend a few minutes talking about going deeper and working with you instead uh, in, in addition to the paid webinar I hope this is helpful I'm always open to your questions and um, let me know how it goes as you try the strategy